viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Well, how is your preparation going for the upcoming placement season? Are you struggling with the preparation of an online test? I'm Jessica from Cantillero Labs. Let me help you regarding this. The aptitude test is mainly divided into three parts. The quantitative aptitude, the logical reasoning and the verbal section. To face any interview, the first step is to clear the online test which is very important. You can't just take it lightly, nor do you need to bother much about it. It's just a mathematics that you have already covered till class 10th. The NCRT textbook is the base for your quantitative aptitude. So today, I will be telling you about how to deal with this section and mainly discussing with you some tricks and tips to solve certain questions. But before that, don't forget to click the bell icon for the latest videos. Also, let me tell you that Cantilever Labs is offering a free course for you to prepare for Wipro, TCS, Capgemini, Cognizant and many more such top companies. Kindly find the link in the description below to register for a free course. Let's get started. Let's start with the first problem, splitting the percentage. For example, find 56% of 6432, that is 6432, 56 by 100, into 6432. Write 56% as 50%, 5% and 1%. 50% of 6432 will be 3216. 5% will be 321.6 and 1% will be 64.32. Add all of the resultants and it will give you 3601.92. Moving ahead, Let's look at calculating square of a number close to 100. This is strictly applicable only for only from 76 square to 125 square. For example, 98 square. First subtract uh, from 100, that is 100 minus 98. We will give, we'll give you 2. Now subtract 2 from 98, 96. And square of the difference, that is 2 square, is equal to 0, 4. So the answer would be 96, 0, 4. Simple, right? You can do it too. Let's look at another example. 106 square. 100 minus 106 will give you minus 6. Now add that 6 to 106 since it is a negative uh, integer. So 106 plus 6 will give you 112. Square of the difference, 6 whole square, 36. The answer would be 112, 36. Very simple, right? Kindly do it for 93 square and write down your answers in the comment section below. Moving on, we will see a technique to calculate the number of squares with ease in just 2 minutes. Cal calculate the number of squares. Let's take an example of a table. That would be of five columns and four rows. Count the number of columns. One, two, three, four, five. Count the number of rows. One, two, three, four. Now multiply both of them. Five into four equals 20. Reduce the number of rows by one and reduce the number of columns by one. That will give you four into three equals to 12. Reduce until any number of rows or columns will be equal to one. We will get 3 into 2 is equal to 6. 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Now here, the number of rows is 1. So add the total number of resultants. That will give you 20 plus 12 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 40. That would be the number of squares existing in the given table. Going forward, we have a technique to solve the average problem. The average weight of 5 people decreased by 2 kgs. When one man weight is 50 kgs is replaced by a new man, the weight of the new man is. The options are 40 kgs, 45 kgs, 42 kgs, 48 kgs. We need to calculate 4 factors in this in order to find the right answer. Number 1 is the number of people, that is 5. The average affected by is minus 2 because one is going out and one person is coming in. The person going out, the weight of the person going out is 50. The new person coming in is also 50. Now multiply 5 into minus 2, minus 10. 
Subtract minus 10 from 50. 50 minus 10, 40 kgs. That will be the weight of the new person that was coming into the group. Simple, right? So you can do it too. So guys, that's all in this video. We will be coming with more such videos which will help you prepare for the upcoming drive. I am sure you liked it. I hope this will help you to prepare for numerical aptitude. Kindly let us know in the comment section on which topics you want us to make videos on. We will be happy to do that. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will be coming with more such content. Till then, start preparing as Cantilever Labs is passionate about building a platform for you to get into your dream job. Also, do not forget to check our Instagram and Discord channel. We keep updating them with interesting materials. Thank you for watching.